Hey, how you doing today? My name is Relly, and thank you so much for stopping by. Today we are playing Cuphead on the Nintendo Switch, and I'm going to show you how to beat Ribby and Croaks. In this fight, I highly suggest that you use the roundabout shot. It's going to do more damage, and you're going to be able to hit your enemy every time he's far away from you. When they start swinging their arms in a big circle and just launching out these attacks, all you have to do is duck, turn away, and jump whenever the attack goes all the way to the bottom. You've got a top, medium, and bottom. Jump whenever the attack is on the bottom. Next, the bigger toad is going to launch out these flies that are on fire. How are these things on fire inside of his mouth or even in his belly? I have no idea. They only take one hit to take down and then they're done. So go ahead and keep on shooting. The smaller toad, gear up and he's going to roll towards you and it's going to be kind of slow. You're going to need to jump and dash over him. In this second phase, you're going to see that the big toad is going to turn himself into a fan and he's going to be spinning himself around while the smaller toad is going to be launching out these balls that are bouncing. All you have to do is continuously run to the right towards the bigger toad and the fan is going to try and push you back. Every time you stop running, it's going to push you to the left. So whenever you need to dodge the balls, either stop moving to the left or slightly move to the left. Here the small toad will roll towards you again and all you have to do is jump and dash out of the way. This time it'll be a little bit faster. Next you're going to see the two toads turn into a slot machine and you're not going to be able to do any damage to this thing at all. What you need to do is parry that slot machine arm and that's going to get the next phase of this battle started. We could literally just keep this fight going on forever here until we actually parry this thing. Depending on what we see on the slot machine is what attack is going to be coming our way. Right here we see all three snakes and that means that we're going to be jumping on top of the platforms. What we're going to do is jump every other platform and that's going to be the easiest way to get this done. Just keep jumping every other platform and it's going to go a little bit faster and a little bit faster as we go through it. Make sure that you're shooting the entire time because the only time the slot machine takes damage is while you're in the middle of platforming. For the bowl, just make sure that you watch out where the fire is coming from as the platforms come out. All you have to do is either jump above the platform or below the platform depending on where you see that fire. Alright, here we have the cats and this one is really tough. You're going to have to jump through the opening that the balls leave and not hit those spikes. And just like that, we beat Ribby and Croaks. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'll talk to you again more soon.